Okay, so we're here today to work on some applique at the request of many of you. And um, some specific projects were mentioned. Um, I'm not going to try to do each one individually, but we will do an applique project that I think will have some wide um, variety of skills that you could apply to a lot of different projects. And if you still have questions after that, ask and we'll try to address those individually. Okay, so we'll open up AutoPunch and I have in mind a cute little bird that I wanted to work with. I haven't actually um, digitized this little bird but I did take a look at him earlier and I think that there's a lot here to work with. So let's look at his size. Three inches is good, but we'll make him just a little bit bigger than that when I have him fit in the small hoop. All right, let's look at the colors. There are actually quite a few colors here. I'm not sure where this purpley color is so I'm just going to remove that. Of course the brown would be his legs and it looks like the black is his eye. I'm not sure about this color. The peachy color is the beak and the body of the bird we want to keep. I'm not sure about this light pink. And we, of course we want the dark pink but um, that looks good so we'll go with that. Um, this is good for our settings. Our default is usually preferable unless we have something specific in mind. Alright, so we're going to close the preview window so we can see what we've got here. We have the body of the bird and take note the little hole. We have a wing and a tail, a beak, legs, and an eye. Alright, we don't want to stitch blocks with the same color as the background. So we'll click Next, and we will choose a light woven. All right. For most of the bird, we're going to choose a fill. But a couple of things, like the tail, um, will be a column stitch. The wing will be a fill. The beak will be a column. The legs will be a column and the eye will be a column. All right, so we'll click Next and Finish. And you'll notice I didn't put any underlay or anything like that because remember we're working with applique. There are a few small areas that will not be applique, but um, for what we're doing here with applique, we don't need an underlay. So we have our little bird and let's put him in the small hoop and take a look at him. All right, we can see down below that I think this is the eye. We may need to work on the density there. These are the legs, the beak, the wing and tail, and the body of the bird. So now, before we make any changes to the design, we need to think about um, the outcome of the project. This is an applique, not a fill design. So we want to have a solid area here in the middle of the bird that will be most of the applique. So with that in mind, I'm going to move the wing off of the bird and now you can see that there's a hole. We don't want to cut around that wing. It's not very big and that would be difficult. Um, so we're going to just remove it, and I'll show you how. I'm going to click on my editing software now. I'm going to click on, click off of that, click on the body. And you can see that we have some points here. And this is why we like working with a vector, because these points can come out. I'll move that point out. Okay. Let's see if that did them all. Yeah. There. So once I clicked on Stitch It and had eliminated that hole, the bird is filled in completely, which is exactly what we wanted. We wanted to have a solid area to work with. And this way, we're just cutting a solid piece for our applique. So now we can go in and change this stitch type from a fill to an applique. Okay, 
and um, several of you wanted to know how you could just get a running stitch applique. Well, the way you do that is you're going to uncheck every one of the options here so that the only thing for this design is going to be a guideline. So I'm going to click Apply, and now I simply have a line. And if I take a closer look at this, blow it up just a little bit, let's take it off a realistic view. You can see the stitches, all right? You see the stitches here? Each one of these dark lines is a stitch. So if I take it down just a notch, there you go. There's our running stitch outline for our little bird, okay? And um, I can always go back and put in an outline around the little bird once I'm done with him, but um, if you wanted to just have an outline stitch, and some of you are asking about that, just a, a running stitch around the perimeter of your design, this is how you would do it. Okay, so now I'm going to address a couple of other things in the little bird. The first being the wing here. So I'm going to click on editor again. And this time I'm going to create a fill for his wing that has some texture that looks sort of like feathers, I hope. So I'm going to click on Step Pattern and let's go to the catalog. See if we see a design that has a feathery look. This one could work. But let's see if we can go down and find anything else that looks sort of feathery. I think maybe this one. All right, so I'm going to click Apply. And I like the way that looks. So we'll click off of that, we'll click off of this, and we can move it back inside. I think I'm going to change the angle of the wing just slightly. Okay. Now, the angle of the stitch itself might need to shift just a bit. So let's go back. Let's click off of that, choose this little guy. Well, I might have to leave him outside to choose it again. All right, and let's see if we can change the angle. There we go. By the time I move it, I think that's going to be about what I want. So let's click Stitch It. Click off. And we'll shift it just a bit. Okay. Now we can put it back up in there. I like the way that looks. And we can take our little bird now and add an outline to him. And got our first hole down, which we don't want, but we do want an overlooks, an overlock stitch. And we don't want it to be 30. That's a little wide for this small design. So I think 20 or maybe 15 will work here. Let's see. And if we want to increase the density, let's see there, that makes it a nice little design. So we'll stitch it. And, and one thing you notice at this point is that the beak and the legs are on top of the outline. And so we're going to click on the beak and we're just going to move it over a tad so it's not on top of the outline. And we'll click on the legs and we'll do the same thing. We'll just move them over a little bit. Let's see, we can move this one up just a hair. It's quite a bit uneven. Not too much. Okay, that looks good. All right, and we might want to increase the density of the tail just a bit. So let's do that. That's good. And I might even put a fill underlay to give that a good solid. Let's do all the underlays. Make it good and solid. Very nice. All right. 